if something ends with it, ett suffix, it usually means a smaller version of that. Smaller kitchen is called kitchenette. If the large one is a cigar, the smaller one is called cigarette. If the large one is pipe, which you use in the houses, the smaller version we use in the labs is called pipette. So the idea of the rosette in the neuropathology or the medicine came from rose windows, which are seen in the Gothic church or cathedrals. Now, smaller version of the rose window is called rosette. In pathology, uh, the diagnosis is just like radiology is heavily dependent on pattern recognition or some visual clues. So what we see that in certain tumors, particularly in the neuropathology, what we see that the tumor cells structure themselves, arrange themselves surrounding an empty, co surrounding a core, which can be empty, sometimes filled with uh, some other things like neural processes. They arrange themselves like a spoke wheel pattern, which resembles the rose windows, which are seen in the Gothic cathedrals. So from that, some imaginative pathologists thought that these structural resemblance, we can use the term rose to describe. For example, the Homerite rose, which was described by an American pathologist, Homer Wright, Dr. Homer Wright, who also discovered the right stain. He first noted this thing in uh, neuroblastomas, and then it was also found in medulloblastoma, even in the Ewing sarcoma and other tumors also. So, so what is the role of the rose? Rosettes can help you to diagnose this pattern recognition. If you see this kind of particular arrangement of the tumor cells, it can help you to diagnose certain lesions, certain tumors. It could be useful. Similarly, later, uh, Flexner winter stainer was uh, described the Flexner winter stainer rosette in the retinoblastoma, which was described by another pathologist, Simon Flexner and uh, Hugo winter stainer, which was, who was an Austrian ophthalmologist. So both they described the same thing and that's why their num name has been clapped together to describe the Flexner winter stainer rosette. If that's rosette is present, that specific pattern is present on the biopsy, it helps you to uh, diagnose retinoblastoma. That it can be seen in other conditions also. So the point is that, that uh, uh, similarly, if we see perivascular pseudo rosette, it will be useful for uh, ependymoma or true ependymal rosette can also be seen in ependymoma. So these are the various rosettes which we see. They are nothing but a specific pattern where the tumor cells, they arrange themselves uh, around a central core, they arrange themselves which look like spoke wheel pattern, look like rose window pattern. Rose window, if you search Google, you'll be finding rose windows are specific structure, which is specific type of windows, which are seen in the cathedrals, Gothic cathedrals, particularly in the European countries. So, so they look like that. That's why <clears throat> this structure has been given a name. They are the smaller version, miniature version, portable version of the rose windows. That's why they are called rosette, because I mentioned at the beginning that if something is ending with the suffix et, it means a smaller version, like pipette, cigarette, kitchen, et, all these things. So that's the basic idea that if we get them, where we usually particularly get them, particularly we get them in the uh, nervous system tumors, usually these rosette structures are seen and they usually indicate some form of neural differentiation. So. Your objective is to know that what is rosette actually, what is the significance. It is useful in diagnosis if this pattern is recognized. Uh, and certain type of rosettes are seen in certain conditions. There are also a lot of other concepts, but I don't want to put all of them in this small, uh, in this <coughs> uh, brief video session. What I want to tell you that you just need to know that there is a specific pattern recognition, uh, like radiologists see these patterns in gray white scale similarly the pathologists see the pattern in the biopsy in a blue and white blue and pink scale uh, density so similarly this particular pattern arrangement of the cells that is called rosette it, because it resembles the rose windows in a, a gothic cathedral and certain type of rosette which are described by certain individuals like uh, flexner winter rosette is useful for particularly for retinoblastoma and it is also asked in the examination for that, that where do you expect them primarily. But as I mentioned, they can be seen in other conditions also. Uh, and also the another rosette, which is important, as I mentioned, perivascular pseudo rosette, which would be useful for ependymoma. Ependymoma, you also see true ependymal rosette. And another one is Homer right rosette. Homer right rosette typically we see in two conditions. Uh, for example, if, let's say they ask you that 
a five-year-old child presents with a posterior fossa tumor mass. Uh, he is presenting with some form of cerebellar incoordination and the tumor mass shows homerite rosette. So basically they're talking about medulloblastoma because in a CNS tumor which is arising because this tumor arises in the cerebellum and it can show homerite rosettes. So that's why it would be useful for diagnostic purpose and also can be tested in your examinations also. That's the point that you need to know about the rosettes. Thank you.